Hi, I'm Randy Reed. It's Today in Lighting, Wednesday, 9 February, sponsored by TCP. Here are the stories making news. Later today at noon Eastern, the NLB rolls out its annual lighting form. First up is Visual Light with Nancy Clanton, Lisa Heshong, and Terry McGowan. Sign up at visuallight.eventbrite.com. We have a series on the Edison Report called Best Practices, and Sam Corbell from Light High has published a video that we've included in this series. Attract, don't chase. Sam says a lot in two minutes. Check it out at edisonimport.com. Did you know that concrete, steel, and aluminum are responsible for 23% of total global emissions? On Designing Lighting, we link to an article on embodied carbon. We all need to get ready for this new metric in the way we do business. Congratulations to our good friend, Don Piper, who won an L Prize Concept Award. Keep it going, Don. The new executive director of IES hasn't started yet, but they continue business as usual. We posted a link to their 2030 challenge. Acuity is saving a lot of trees by going to QR codes on their product. I hope we all get there. Who wants a bunch of paper with their luminaires? Not me. Jason Brown, son of Steve Brown and grandson of Bill Brown, will compete again tonight in the Winter Olympics. Good luck to him. The Dow dropped 21 yesterday. NASDAQ was up 219. Acuity stopped their slide. They gained $2.10. That's it. Go light up the world and have a great day.